Okay, well, as I said in the uh, first introductory video, which was the currency strength indicator, uh, we're delighted to be able to offer alerts on uh, several of these indicators now. And the next one is the currency matrix. Um, now, if you've been following the videos as we've been working our way through the development, um, this is the, um, the final version. Really looks good. And in addition to that, we've also added this functionality at the top and the bottom here of having um, the a benchmark, very much like on the currency strength indicator where we have the 80-20 just to give you a flavor of, of where a currency may be in terms of overbought or oversold condition when it's arriving at those sorts of conditions. Equally on the currency matrix, uh, what we've tried to include here is a guide so that as you can see here, the pound CAD, for example, right now is at 17.69. The average is 23.54 and the all-time high is 36.33. So the conclusion that you can reach from that, and if you can, you can visualize it this way, in that where this is at the moment, it's, it's quite a way off the, the average and certainly a long way off the all-time high. So in terms of this getting extended, um, you could say this is, this is on the way up, um, perhaps not at, let's say, uh, an overbought condition, let's call it that, for the pound CAD in terms of where the average might rest at the moment at 23 spot 55, 56. So... What we've done in terms of the uh, alerts, and just in case you're not familiar with alerts, I've actually pulled it up here as well. Um, I'm sure many of you are who are familiar with TradingView. But in case you're not, um, this is an article on TradingView itself in terms of how to set up the alerts, all the various ways. You can do it um, up here. You've got the alert in the toolbar here at the top. You've got another alert over here on the right-hand side. Uh, but the easiest probably is just to click on the uh, on the uh, right click on the on the window and add an alert on the quantum currency matrix. And basically, there are I'm just going to have to check. Uh, there are 56 alert conditions, and primarily they are based around the upper extreme and the lower extreme. In other words, these levels here, these figures here. So when a currency pair is greater than or equal to the average all-time high, you can set a trigger. And equally, when the currency pair is less than or equal to the average all-time low, then again, you can set the triggers here. And it's all done through these boxes that you'll find here. All very neat and tidy. And again, as I showed in the previous video, you can set them to uh, various styles that you wish. And in addition to that, you can also either show them as a pop-up, which is the default, or you can have them sent as an email or indeed also uh, these other um, uh, alternatives here as well. And you've got um, you know sound options too, which um, uh, again are all within the alert functionality. So again, another great um, function that we wanted to add. We've been very keen to do this because it is such a key part of the trading view. Um, usage where because it's mobile uh, a lot of customers and i'm sure many of our customers will be using it on mobile and therefore alerts are a great way to to bring your attention to something that you can then go and check on the chart is it an opportunity to trade or not it's just a very very slick way of doing it quickly hope you've enjoyed this particular video lots more to come because i'm going to rattle through these as well so thanks for watching this one on the currency matrix see you again soon and bye for now